and he told me, hey, you heard those gun those shotguns? I was like, yeah, I heard them. But suddenly after we finished, we heard like the police sirens coming. I was like, what happened? And I started showing like 15 police cars driving. Like, doom, doom, doom. I was like, oh, something is something is happening, it's really bad. And I told him, let's go, let's go and take a ride. And we went to make a trip around the neighborhood and we were close to the uh what is it kindergarten and um we heard like like he said like more than a hundred gunshots like boom, 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 boom. and we were like hey you know what we better take off home because it seems like really really dangerous and uh, we went to a shannon house the traffic light at shannon house and everything was blocked and we decided to come this way and we are here waiting to see what happened. Yes. It's kind of seem not real yet. Does it kind of does it seem like this only happens in the movies? Being honest with you, never happened this before in this area. Never expected to see so many police officers wounded, so many cars. Never, never. Just like you said, just in the movies. This is, this is a pretty cool area. I, I live in the Devonshire area, so I'm not too far away. Oh! Dunkrow. So it's, it's a pretty cool area. Are you surprised it, about something like this happening? I'm really, really surprised. I'm really shy about this because we, but we've been living in this area for maybe eight, eight to nine years. And this, I like, I love this area because it's really quiet. You can chill outside without any problem. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Same thing. I'm gonna get a, grab grab a quick wide shot of you. Let me give you a business card. Maybe. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Cause actually I need uh, I need some masonry work done. Check, 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 check. Don't call me. Don't call me. I'm on IFB. Uh, tell, tell Destiny to hang up the phone. I can't talk with her. But I can, I can go live anytime they want. Please tell Destiny to, to stop calling me. Uh, 
Yeah, but uh, the problem is I don't have a photographer. I can't adjust. I need a photographer here to do that. If somebody can get a hold of Marlo and tell him to go to Galloway and Bankston, Galloway at Bankston. Okay, Galloway and Banks, then again, I can, you can come to me anytime you want. Brian, go. Copy that. Check, one, two, three, four, five. Check, 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 check. Here's what I found. Copy, ready to go. Copy, ready to go. Hey, John, I'm on Galloway and Bankston. We're probably a block, maybe two away from the actual scene. This is as close as we're going to get. CMPD have the entire area shut down at this point, but this is one route that I was able to get in. I actually tried to get in on the other side of Galloway and was told that it was a very active scene. Bullets were still being exchanged, so we had to remove ourselves as quickly as possible. Hence the bulletproof vest that I'm wearing right now. I was able to wrap around to the other side, get in as close as you can see. Just behind me, you see dozens and dozens of police cars fired trucks, uh, emergency crews out there. Everybody is out here on scene hoping for the best, praying for the best for these officers that were involved. I have been talking with some witnesses down here on the scene. While nobody actually saw the shooting, I talked to two specifically. One of them told me he heard uh, at least 100 rounds fired one after another. As a matter of fact, some of them were being overlaid, so it sounds like they could have been exchanging gunfire, but we do not have that confirmed at this point. Another witness told me it was like World War III down here. He's never seen anything like it. This is just outside of the Devonshire area, a very quiet type of a neighborhood. I'm very well familiar of it. I used to live here uh, several years ago, very family oriented. And this is something that you certainly would not believe that would happen in your own neighborhood. We're gonna remain on scene, try to get uh, some more information from CMPD, but the facts right now are few and far between. They're not talking. They're still engaged in the situation, trying to bring this to a peaceful resolution. And we'll just kind of have to see and wait what happens. Pray for the best. In East Charlotte, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. Uh, I've seen just about every agency you can imagine. Highway Patrol, I did see uh, deputy sheriffs, CMPD is out here uh, in force. Uh, it seems like there are dozens, if not more, officers out here in a situation like this, and I've covered scenes like this before, they will flood the streets out here to get everything controlled and contained. Uh, right now, just trying to keep the public safe at bay is uh, the number one priority. Obviously, they want to bring this to a successful and safe resolution. Uh, from this point forward, uh, they don't want anybody else getting hurt, so they're going to bring in negotiators if there is still a barricaded person in that house. So we still have a long way to go, and it's going to affect this area for quite some time. If you have to be in the area, please avoid the area of Galloway specifically. You will not get anywhere near this uh, scene as it is right now. So we'll go ahead and toss it back to you. Thank you.
go back into the neighborhood. But we got back in. So. How, and y'all stay all the way right over there. Which makes sense. Now, is it a relative? It seems like it's a relative thing. Like, familiar. Yeah. I wouldn't say familiar, but it okay. was quiet. It, it's nothing like nothing. Nothing like this. This is just one of those. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, we're, we're, uh, I don't know, this is a pan from over in the uh, country. Yeah, I don't know if we might be able to talk to you guys about what all y'all seen. No, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, okay, that, that, no problem. that's absolutely fine, that's absolutely fine. Um, but out of curiosity, how long, like, whenever you were coming home, stuff going on in the neighborhood. Oh, you live around here? Sure do, around the corner. Yeah, I live, I live up in Denver. Denver area. I mean, uh, you can walk there. Yeah. It's like, it's nice climate. Yeah, I live that way. Can I ask you a little bit about the neighborhood? Uh, I don't know much about the neighborhood. Friend, let me get you to flip around if you don't mind. You can hang on to that for me. Just keep it about chest level. Perfect. You're a natural at this. What's your name, my friend, and how you spell it? I am L.A. Spelled L.A. What's your last name, L.A.? Saunders. S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S. -E Beautiful. Uh, you can keep the mic right about here. Right here? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, you want me to give you a story? I can give you a story. Yeah, what happened to you? All I can say is... I go to a class called Urban League. I'm taking an H -A -H HVAC class. I was down there doing a doing a um, a service call. Next thing you know, I'm hearing bop, 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 bop. I ran up out of there, and that was it. How close were you? Um, probably about about 50 yards or so, 70, 50, 50, 75 yards. Yep. I'm going to say at least 10 that I heard. How do you react? I've never been shot at. How do you react to something like that? Oh, that's because you got to be in the military. If you was in the military, you would know. You duck and you run. Did you duck and run? I took off. Yes, I did. Were you nervous? Were you frightened? Were you no, because I'm used to the gunshots in the neighborhood. I can't speak per se on this neighborhood. But my neighborhood, we get this all the time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, knowing that several law enforcement officers may be injured, we're hearing really badly. I heard. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel sorry for the families. Um, I'm praying for the families, yeah. Thanks, my Thank brother. You, sir. Appreciate you. you let me get a, let me just get a quick, a quick wide shot of you. Um, you will be on the air more than you realize. Thank you, sir. Because this will be, uh, you are absolutely fabulous. And uh, this will be on 
probably multiple times throughout. Ooh, throughout the I'm a star. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Be good. Be safe. I'm over it. Maybe you want the same story. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm a part of I'm a new Beta Phi Military Fraternity Incorporated. Oh. And we go by Queen City Kings. Really? Yes, sir. See, uh, you know, <laughs> I like that. That's pretty good. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. Really tell you about it was probably more than an hour or something. Um, and as I mentioned to the other, I go to Urban League HVAC class, and I was over there doing a uh, HVAC service, and that's one of the dimensions. He was, he was working on an HVAC system um, down the road, probably about 50 yards from the gun shop. He only heard 10 shots. He said, he said I was in the military, I've been shot at all. I got my ass out of Yeah. 
I mean, if you're surprised we're this close, I was, when I showed up, I was going to wait for it, but hey, you got to go back. So the, the gal, uh, the CIO, she knew my name, I don't know her name, but she came up and said, oh, heavy, or less than you know, where we at? On the other side of the alley. So I, they had the roadblock off, but there were, there were public was standing around, and I can't wish to stand here with them. Well, that's why, you're out. That's why I was surprised that I like, I started walking up, I was like a shot from over there first because I was like, I'm going to take it back. Even though there were people. <laughs> They're sending a photographer with the drone, I'm like, I don't think that's going to go over very yeah, well. Not gonna They keep taking, they keep taking the reporters at the staging area. That's like a half an hour. It's kind of coming in here. They got my report together. They tried to send them out. It's like, I can't shoot video. I can move a cell phone for a live video. I can kill that someone out there. I can, uh, I can actually, actually uh, help you with that. I've got a, I've got a bracket that hooks on your camera. Yeah. If you want to borrow it. I have a reporter that's coming out here who's supposed to do all the rest of the stuff. But I'm just like, I need to Guys, I need some guys out here. Why isn't some guys out the scene? It's only out here now. We'll start to talk about it, but he's going to be staging area and we'll have it stacked.
actually got the drone up. Hey, his live shot is going to be off my cell phone because he, we don't have a live video. I'm just letting you know. So the audio is just going to be the cell phone audio. So just give me a heads up. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. He's grabbing his camera and stuff like that because I told him also that like, he wanted us, like when we're in middle breaks, trying to get people driving out too. So I mean, try to get in and people even see me come up there and everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he has his camera. No, I can't say, no, no. The only thing he can, the only thing I can do is he can put the earbuds in with the, the um, for the, uh, you know, like a regular cell phone, when you're talking on the cell phone, you have the earbuds with the mic on it. He could plug that in and he can kind of hold it himself, but that would be able to give a mic close. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, yeah, I've been trying to get video, but I want to kind of get some interviews while I've been the hot shit, hot, hot shit, hot shit. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, you have them up at four, right? Okay. Yeah, four o'clock.
Hey, what IC should you use? <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, it was like they Only that number one. Yep. Are they going to want me live at 4?
Check, 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 check. Is there a sound bite that I need to toss to? Siobhan's at the hospital, right? Somebody talk to me, please. I need to know what's going on. Thank you. Do they have a sound bite loaded up for me, or are we just doing this straight live? Ready to go. Is there a sound bite in this? I understand that. I understand that. I need to know if there's a sound bite in this that I need to toss to as well. Okay. Ready to go, no cues, no cues, no cues. Copy, no cues. Yeah, John, that's exactly right. We're about two blocks away uh, along this main roadway, and you can hear the helicopters, uh, several different helicopters flying ahead of us. And down here on the scene, you can tell it is a very active, very chaotic scene at this point. When I first arrived here about an hour and a half ago, I was greeted by the public relation officer for CMPD, and she ordered me out of the area because it was still an active scene. We were being told at that point that gunfire was still being exchanged between the suspect and those officers. So we had to grab our gear and get out of there as quickly as possible. I then made my way around the back end of Galway Road, and we're able to get this is about as close as any media can get at this point. Uh, again, what you can see right here behind me is a dozens and dozens of police officers, patrol vehicles. We did see the SWAT van out here as well. Medic units are out here as well as fire. I talked to several uh, people who live in the area. This is very close to the Devonshire area where I used to live who simply cannot believe what is going on. I talked to a couple of people who said that they heard multiple shots, possibly a hundred. Some of those shots were overlapping, meaning that there was a probable exchange between two parties, possibly the suspect, possibly police. I did talk to another person and he told me it was like World War III. We did uh, an on-camera interview. Let's go ahead and roll that tape and find out what he said.
And again, very active, very chaotic scene down here. Police are telling us if you have to come down here in the area, avoid this roadway like the plague. It is uh, loaded with police officers. They will not let you get anywhere near it. We are hearing about some school lockdowns at this point, and we also are hearing about a lot of activity over at the local hospital. As a matter of fact, Siobhan Bryant joins us right now, and she's got more on that. Hang tight. We'll figure it out. Yeah, they wanted live interviews, and I'm like, I can't do that without a photographer because unless the person is exactly my height, which nobody is because I'm short, I'm like, <laughs> it's not going to work. I'm going to cut off four heads. Hey, it's Ron, who's this? Hey, Olivia. Uh, we don't have an extra photographer just sitting around, do we? Well, my, my suggestion is we're, we're going to want a crew from performance on this. people doing their thing and uh, so we can we can put it together as a promo just a suggestion
Hey, Lindsay. It's Ron. Um, just, just throwing out a suggestion now that things are starting to settle down a little bit. Um, if there is a you know, spare photographer, which is a stupid ass, uh, we might want to think about uh, shooting a proof of, proof of performance photos later tonight.